Alright, so what you're looking at right now is the screen of my computer and the Basis 2 FPGA programming application, which you can see I'm about to flash this uh, FPGA that I have here. It's a little $50 one off the internet. And I've got my servo motor and a driver chip that is buffering the output so that I don't pull any current directly from my device. I've got a oscilloscope here that's going to show the signal I'm putting out to my servo motor and that's going to drive the pulse width modulated signal that's going to go ahead and uh, tell the signal to move. I've got a hacked computer power supply that I'm driving 5 volts to the chip with and that's also what's providing current to the servo motor. So I'm going to go ahead and program the board right now using the uh, Basis 2 app. And I'm using Xilinx to program it. Okay, I've programmed it and now you can see it already put the program on the FPGA itself and it's just a simple two-state machine that looks at the count of my counter and when the count is above I think I have it set at 1024 it pulses one way and then when it's below it it's the other way so you can see the, ch the, w the length of the pulse width is changing and that's telling the motor to jump one to one position or the other and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post a more detailed uh, set of instructions on how to do this but I've been using um, some of the code for an example from um, Chow, I believe, is Chu. Chu is the name of the author of the Verilog by example textbook, and I'll post that as well. Well, uh, more to come, guys.